So, um, you've all heard of this Nashville shooting. This uh, happened last week. It was the Monday. We woke up to some terrible news. I, I woke up on Tuesday hearing about it. Uh, the shooter that went in in Nashville, this Christian school, and fired on six individuals. Three of them were young kids. Uh, three of them were uh, faculty members. The kids were like nine years old. I think they were all nine years old. Uh, I'm thinking, actually, no. One was eight years old. Uh, and the the other were nine and nine. Um, and one of the nine-year-olds ended up being the pastor's daughter, which is uh, just, I mean, the whole situation is just horrible. I've been monitoring because, well, obviously, I just kind of want to know how people react to this. I want to believe that people react in appropriate ways, but that hasn't been the case because, and I, and I wrote a, we'll call it an article for my local Facebook page because we have people that represent the LGBTQ community here with uh, programs and there's an organization called Diversity Ed and I don't I don't even want to I shouldn't even set it I don't want to give them any uh, platform because they're just honestly very how they've treated me over very innocent things is just horrible but there's this this dangerous ideology I feel that's foisted on young people and people in these in these communities these minority communities that uh, struggle with their identity or or sexual uh, preference. There's this this idea that uh, because we disagree with you morally, like I, I don't care, I, I don't care to make policy that infringes on your right to do what you want. Whatever you want to do, do in your own house. That's what I've always said. But just because I disagree with it personally, that doesn't mean I want to see you killed. That doesn't mean I want to see violence being thrust towards you. That's not what that means. And I had this local. Uh, I'll call her a leader because that's what she is. She spearheads this this organization, and they get involved with businesses. And the mayor just gave her an award. It's he he's got a list of people that he uh, gives awards, and she was on there. I brought up this screenshot because it came to mind after uh, after all this that went down this 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 week with this shooting. She accused me and a few others of because of what we believe and how we express ourselves or, or how we articulate our positions. That is what causes shootings this is because a few months ago there was a shooting on uh i can't remember what one she was referring to but she was blaming people like me so i took a screenshot of that and i posted that this morning i said this dangerous ideology of saying be that disagreement equals dead people that is extremely dangerous in of itself i don't ever talk about this subject without f saying i don't hate anybody I don't wish violence on anybody. And in fact, I want to, <laughs> if it ever came to uh, their rights being trampled on, I would protest with them because I think people have the right to do what they want. If they're, if they're being infringed, I would stand with them. That's my attitude. All right, so let's read this. This is from Sky News, National School Shooting, What We Know About Killer Audrey Hale. The attacker who killed six people at Nashville at a Nashville school had reportedly warned a friend that something bad was about to happen minutes before the massacre. Audrey Hale, who identified as a transgender man and was a former student at the private Christian school in Tennessee, was shot dead by police after the killing spree. Averyanna Patton said the 28-year-old sent her Instagram messages in which they talked about not wanting to live anymore and said that their family did not know what they were about to do. Now they're using their pronouns, they, okay? In the first message, Hale signed it as Audrey Aiden. Mrs. Patton said she saw the messages at 9.57 a.m. on Monday, less than 20 minutes before police said they were told about an attack at the Covenant School. Mrs. Or Ms. Patton tried to uh, be supportive according to screenshots of the social media conversation. In their last message, Hale said that something bad was about to happen and asked for forgiveness. Ms. Patton was a former basketball teammate of Hale's at Isaiah T. Cresswell Middle School. Ms. Patton said the messages were alarming and called a suicide prevention hotline, but it was too late to stop. Hale killing three students aged nine and three adults, including the head teacher. I'm trying to still understand, just to learn that I received a message before. It's just like, wow, Ms. Patton told NBC. Just pray, just pray. All right, some notes here. Hale was receiving care from the doctor for emotional disorder. Uh, did Hale plan other attacks? Mr. Drake said the manifesto indicated Hale planned to carry out additional shootings at other locations. Police revealed Hale had 
uh, drawn a detailed map of the school, which included potential entry points and had planned surveillance before killing their victims. Officers uh, received reports of the attack at 10.13 a.m. on Monday. In response to the shootings, two officers opened fire and fatally shot Hale at 10.27 a.m. The killer had entered the building by shooting through glass doors before carrying out the attacks. Was this the only school that was targeted? It was the only school that was targeted. Uh, there was another location that was mentioned, uh, but because of a uh, threat assessment by the suspect, uh, too much security, they decided not to. And that area was here in Nashville, so we're continuing with that investigation as well. So did you catch that? The suspect, the shooter, decided not to go to another school because they had too much security. So these people that are yapping about guns... Now, I don't own a gun. I'm Canadian. I just never own guns. I don't go hunting. I never leave my home very often because I work from home. But um, I don't, this isn't a gun issue. It was a legal uh, firearm that she owned. This, to me, just has nothing to do about a stricter gun regulation or law wouldn't have prevented this, put it this way. Because she got her guns in October of 20, uh, 2020. That was before she transitioned. So was there a detection of mental illness around that time? Probably not. Yeah, Hale was receiving care from doctor for emotional disorder. Hale was under a doctor's care for an undisclosed emotional disorder at the time of the shooting spree. Okay, so that sounded like it was something just recent before the shooting. But October 2020 is when she obtained uh, the weapons, of which her parents thought she had sold and got rid of, but she kept so people that argue saying that, oh, there needs to be stricter gun laws. No, because she passed it with flying colors because she seemed to be okay in October of 2020. The fact that she didn't uh, go to another school because they had heavy security, that tells you everything you need to know. You need to have security at these schools. So I want to talk about uh, the media response to this, which is pretty, uh, in my opinion, very disgusting. For me, I, I would have rather... This woke crowd stayed silent on this issue. I'd rather them stayed silent than what they're doing. Because this, this, uh, this was uh, reported, uh, I can't remember what day last week, but this is uh, from the New York Post. NBC freelance reporter ripped for linking Nashville shooting to Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire. A freelancer for NBC News was blasted over a since-deleted tweet in which he appears to link the mass shooting at a Christian school in Nashville with a conservative media outlet the Daily Wire and its star commentators Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh. Benjamin Ryan, a health and science reporter whose bylines also have appeared in the New York Times, uh, Reuters, the Washington Post, and, the, uh, and other outlets, posted a tweet on Monday in the aftermath of the shooting that left six people dead, among them three children, at the uh, Covenant School in Nashville. The shooter, wa who was identified as transgender woman Audrey Elizabeth Hale, was killed by responding officers. Ryan appears to imply in his tweet that Hale, a Nashville resident, was motivated to carry out the mass shooting due to the fact that the city is also where the Daily Wire is headquartered. NBC has ID'd the Nashville uh, school shooter as Audrey Hale, 28, who identifies as transgender and had no previous criminal record, Ryan tweeted on Monday. Ryan continued, Nashville is home to the Daily Wire, a hub of anti-trans activity by Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro and Michael Knowles. So that's his tweet right there. It's been since deleted. But this is where people's mindsets are. They're blaming people who disagree. And by the way, I watch Matt Walsh. I watch Ben Shapiro and Michael Knowles. I haven't heard them calling people to violence. I haven't. I haven't heard them condoning hatred. What I hear from them is very, at times, blunt opinions based on what they believe is factual. That doesn't equal violence. That doesn't equal hatred. That doesn't equal um, instigating school shootings like this. There's this narrative that is being perpetrated by these people and even this person locally that came after me and a few others. They are dangerously weaving this narrative that trans people, that the, this, the, the people of the LGBTQ uh, community are being hunted by us and we are the people to be feared. This is what they're instilling in uh, these people. It's sad. It's, that's what it really is. And it, ultimately, it's, it's gaslighting because it's, they're blaming you for what they're guilty of. That's what they always do. People don't want their freedoms to be taken. 
They want us to fight for their freedoms. And so it is shameful, it is disturbing, and uh, our hearts go out to uh, the, those, the trans community as they are under attack right now. But this is a president who has said many times before he has their backs, he will continue to have their backs, uh, and he will continue to fight for them.